This is the Tomioka. Yeah. Ah! Sounds like a Honda. <laughs> Here we are at Delicious Toonie. I don't know where to park. Full send? Should I just two step or I can't two step? You can't, what? <laughs> Should I two step my stock Subaru? Yeah, this is in stock. Oh, sorry. Sorry, you got what? Downpipe and exhaust. Yeah, how's your S13 doing? Running? It runs. Yeah. I drove it yesterday. It clunks and like breaks and shakes and does a bunch of stuff, but it's good. All right, girl. This is the last time you're going to be at 276 horsepower. Yo, what'd you put down before? What numbers? It was 276, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. 276. God, my memory's awful. Good morning. How are you? Guys? I'm doing good. Yeah? It's Friday, so. Thankfully, it's good. One more day, and then we get to party, right? There we go. Uh, let's go meet Bill. Yeah. Cool. Hey, can I blow your mind about something so on car related? Yeah. Okay. So come here, put your hands on either side of this, and then just pull your hands down, like softly. Don't like push hard. What? It's supposed to be like silk. That feels really weird. <laughs> Wait, no, I have to do it. Yeah. What is happening? <laughs> that is really weird. That's a weird feeling. I get excited whenever I see that stuff. Especially when it's really thin. <laughs> yeah, right? God, now everyone's gonna think we're just like either drunk or on drugs. <laughs> hey man, feel this wall. <laughs> so this is Bill, the magician tuner here. You're the owner, morning, so yes. yeah. <laughs> I just gotta put the care on you because you said uh, you fully believe the EJ's better than the 4G? Yes, I okay. do not like Evos. I'm done, I'm done with them. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm actually working with another company called Rally Inspired, Rick. Okay. Um, we're actually having him do all that Evo stuff now. Really? Yep. Interesting. Started that this week. What's the reasoning, if you don't mind me asking? They'll work fine for like a month, two months, and then all of a sudden they'll just start idling weird, not driving right. Then you come back and then you try to figure out what's going on. And it's just a nightmare. Servers well, don't seem to have that problem. They're just fussy all the time. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. They're consistently fussy. Well, here's Poop Turd. <laughs> poop Turd. So that's what you call it, huh? Yeah. That's her name. VF37 Twin Scroll. Okay. Stock headers, up pipe, Tomioka, down pipe, Catalyst. Still a two liter engine in there or is it? Yeah, two okay. liter. The JDM EJ205. Okay. And then running with AVCS. Okay. So is it an STI or still a WRX? Still a WRX. Okay. And then, yeah, Borla cat back. I have a standalone, a Haltech. Okay. Platinum Pro. Definitely like the Haltech. <laughs> 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 so I went off roading with my buddy Rob, and he's like, Here, tow my Subaru out of this ditch with your Subaru on a brand new clutch. And ever since then, I always smell this clutch on the car, no matter how light I'm on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you kind of smell a little bit right now. Yeah, I swear I hot spotted it so bad now. Oh, you did, for yeah, sure. Yeah, and whenever I come off at first now, I can kind of like. It's never at the same spot. Subaru problems. So you just want to like hand me the computer and I'll do my thing? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> up down, up down. I drove here on the JDM ECU, so I got to plug in the Haltech, put in the fuse, and then plug in the O2 sensor for the wide man. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I'll let Bill do his thing. <laughs> oh, that wasn't that exciting. I was expecting him to sway side to side way more. <laughs> So just put the fuse to power. I'm gonna plug in the Poltec Platinum Pro ECU. And while I do that, because the turbo's hot, the downpipe is hot, Sean's going to install the O2 sensor. Thanks. <laughs> Chill. So I'm A assistant and B person who burns hands when I know he doesn't want to. Sean's been, I guess you've been my assistant lately. He's been helping me just with emails and I guess you're the first employee of Amelia Hartford Enterprises. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, uh, you know, I just realized that. you're wearing a Haltech hat. I am wearing a Haltech shirt. I'm a huge fan. And shout out to Haltech because they're the best. I love them. I love you, Haltech. <laughs> Blow them a kiss. <laughs> Here we go. <sighs> Goodbye, stock ECO. What? All right. I'm talking to E crew. So for those of you who haven't seen the new shiny ECU, this is the Haltech Platinum Pro. We run it on the RB26 and now the Subaru. Now we're 
Go. All the hall tech is set up and plugged in. It's literally plug and play. And then we have the O2 for the wide van plugged in. We're able to work around the intercooler and then the fuse and that's all that it was. And I think we're ready to get started. So I asked Bill if I could do a pass, like actually drive the car. And you said I'm the first one who's ever asked you that? Yeah, since I've had this dyno, you're the first person that ran. How long have you had this dyno for? I've actually been using it since 2012. Wow. I don't know, I'm like so excited. Poop turd is loaded up. We're almost ready to go. And I'm gonna sit passenger. ignition timing and fuel and how we turned back some of the timing because it's a higher compression ratio. I don't want to get into too much detail because I don't want to divulge his secrets, but this is exciting. I kind of really like tuning. We're going to eat. I'm high both by Savex, so you know this, but all right. Some Chick-fil-A. Alright, grabbing on some Chick-fil-A. Number one sponsor, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to sponsor the Subaru, totally open to it. Like when you full hard send it with poop dirt, you're saying aftermarket headers will fix that possibly, or it'll yeah, help at the, least. These are the twin scroll headers, so if they're not an iron cast from like Subaru, or they're still Subaru, but they're actually bent too. Okay. So it's gonna be a thinner metal, so it's gonna have a more raspy sound to it. This may be absolutely ridiculous, and bear with me, guys, for a minute. Is there such thing as unequal length twin scroll, or is that just like? ruin the uh, purpose of a twin scroll. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> so I guess next up we got headers coming. the raspiest thing possible as long as it made pop sounds. Isn't that how it goes? <laughs> oh well. Horsepower number still on only one, and we locked in at 284. How high do you think we can go? I might be able to hit 300. Really? Yeah. So how much do you think the cat's taking to place, them being removed? Was it a stock cat or? Well, the downpipe. They're fairly restrictive. 
So you think alone I got an extra 15, 25 horsepower? Yeah, usually on this car you can pick up another 25 to 30 horsepower just from the downpipe. Wow. Yeah. What about the racing flames I bought? Um, they probably lose horsepower. <laughs> I was trying so hard <laughs> to keep a straight face. <laughs> comments yet in the last video when I kept saying that my downpipe had two cats but I was just informed that the JDM only has one cat and the USDM downpipe has two so don't roast me too hard in those comments boys <laughs> debating whether or not to push more. Like a 2018 STI with just a turbo back, Cobb intake, Cobb 3.4, and a tune would be about 290. <laughs> I was hoping you would say less than that. Now we gotta go further. <laughs> well, an Evo would be slower. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see how much further we can go before we get any knocking. I bet we can get three. Got an extra engine, right? <laughs> that looks fine. The numbers are good. Just up arrow. <laughs> <laughs> we were seeing if we can do 300. We might still. Midway up around like 6K right before that, 5K-ish, the car just like kind of like dropped. I think everything is okay. Let me show you guys the graph though. So we actually got more torque too. I think we're at like 280, 290 torque, but right here and then it just like cut out here. It cut out sooner than the others. So we probably would have done more. So we did throw a code for a crank position sensor. Bill will see right now if he's got an extra one. And then we'll pull out the tube and spit flames. <laughs> you guys, Bill just pulled the crank position sensor off of his Forester so that we could continue the dyno. I am beyond grateful and that is honestly so cool. Never expect that from a tuner. Thank you.
I said 341, but I'm sticking with my 356. What? I started 341 until Bill was like. That's it's cheating. I think he's shooting overrun now. I heard some snap, crackle, pop. No, he didn't. <laughs> Man down, man down. Oh, now we're playing with fire. Now what I want to know is if Phil's in there smiling or angry. <laughs> That's that smile. <laughs> I think I cinched my eyebrows. Jacarez! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that flame. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty cool. That's what's yeah. up. All right, I'm gonna do a full on the dino right now. I'd say we're safe closing the day with a conservative 345, which is absurd compared to I started with a 276. Safe to say we went up 70 horsepower today, 70. That is a huge jump. Pretty good. Yeah. So let's round up a couple points. At the end of the day, you guys, we did 350 horsepower and 350 torque. Like, and I'm rounding up by like four, three. Actually, only on the horsepower rounding up. I digress. <laughs> Since he took the sensor off his Forester for my WRX, he's driving this off. So like I feel bad, but at the same time, I don't feel bad. Thank you so much. You guys are incredible. I really appreciate everything. Have a good one, guys. <laughs> So these guys are called Delicious Tuning. They are located in San Diego. If you guys ever need a tune, I think they really do everything, huh? They're incredible. They pretty much do anything that Except 4Gs, if it's built correctly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and on top of that, thank you Haltech. We wouldn't be where we are today without them. We tuned on their ECU, and their platform made it extremely easy for me to learn and understand what was going on. Having Haltech on mine, like they have amazing like YouTube videos on like how to use their system and stuff. I was like, Damn, this is so cool that they like actually put all this stuff out here. You can actually learn how to, I don't recommend it, but you can actually learn how to tune from home if you wanted to. I just, I literally am like now a fan of their channel. Like all their videos are awesome. <laughs> Sorry, Amelia, but like, there you, you a Hall Tech fan I'm now? such a Hall Tech fanboy. You fan stopped wearing the Isle Comete hat, now I you're in the Hall Tech. That's literally what happened, dude. I'm <laughs> such a fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> Do your neighbors like you? They're okay. <laughs> Later, dude. Thank you so See you much. Guys. <laughs> dude, this car is fast. What? That was actually fast. <laughs> You're blowing your trans in like 30 seconds. I know, I know. Dude, this is fast. This is really fast. I'm digging this. 70 horsepower makes a huge difference. Oh, and you picked up 100 pounds of torque. Yeah, that you too. That. that too. This is fun. All right, let's play bets on how long you guys think this trans is gonna last now. Uh, I think before you get me to my house. <laughs> All right, uphill. Okay, you guys, I am going to close out here. I am beyond exhausted, and I still have to drive back to LA.
I don't have to, I'm choosing to, but I'm okay. I just wanted to give a huge thank you before I close out to Delicious Tooting. That was such an incredible experience. I can't even begin to explain. And also thank you, Hall Tech. I'm really excited to start rallying the Subaru. I think next we're gonna do a couple more exhaust mods and I wanna get some actual rally tires, maybe lower the suspension a little bit and start racing. Thank you guys so much for watching E-Crew. I appreciate you guys so much. We out here with love. Bye! <laughs> Oh, one thing I wanted to add at the end of this video, you guys, the snap, crackle, the popping effect doesn't happen all the time. It's tuned to happen only above 3000 RPM until I can get a couple switches in the car and wire those to the ECU. One for two-step and then the other for the snap, crackle, pop, Rice Krispies, so that I can choose when it happens. That way, when a cop gets behind me, I'm not entirely screwed. <laughs>